do you ever watch the repeats of uh, of that outer space show? You know, uh, wonders, wonders of the, is it called Wonders of the Universe? Is that the the modern one with Professor Professor Cox? Brian Cox? Uh, Dr. Cox. I don't think I've ever seen... Have you never seen it? ...the whole thing. No, I'm, I, I know that it's supposed to be very good. You know that, you know that uh, pleasurable thing when you're lying in bed and uh, the sky at night comes on? Yeah. Do you ever watch that? With uh, Mr. Moore. With Patrick Moore. And they show these incredible, um, you know, computer simulations and photos of distant <laughs> galaxies. Simulations? Yeah. <laughs> what is that simulation? Um, you know what? I never even used to watch that. Really? I could never get past Mr. Moore himself. But you like space. You like Star love Trek space. and space stuff. So you love space. Want to live in space. And, and there's a point at which that stuff becomes so sort of abstract and meaningless that it's weirdly soothing and... Mm -hmm. uh, an awe-inspiring. Sure. And Professor Dr. Cox, on his amazing smash hit BBC One series, Wonders of the Universe, has taken this to new levels. He's, they've got some incredible computer simu simulations of distant nebulae. Yeah. Uh, they're really stunning. And uh, it's a big smash hit, this programme. And I think lots of people are watching it. But it really is uh, really entrancing, even if you don't understand what the hell he's talking about. Right. It becomes like... A sort of amazing abstract poetry or some kind of art installation these uh, these incredibly beautiful simulations of galaxies done on computers yeah. with this awe-inspiring music playing behind it and then the dulcet soft tones of professor cox uh, uh telling you all these amazing names and mind-boggling uh, statistics about these things. Yeah. It, it's quite a trippy experience. Here's, like, here's a clip from the latest episode, episode four. Have a listen to this. This is the Lagoon Nebula. The Lagoon Nebula sits about 5,000 light years from Earth, but it can still be seen with the naked eye because it's 100 light years across and brightly lit by the hot, young, new star that sits at its centre. A giant called Herschel 36. So it's 5,000 light years from the Earth. It's 100 light years across. It's a hot, new star called <laughs> Herschel 36. I've been reading about Herschel 36. Yes. Yeah. It's the hottest new star in the galaxy. Sure. He's huge. He's absolutely huge. Isn't he going out with um, um, the lady with the haircut? Yeah, and it's a difficult... Well, what lady with the haircut? The, um, Tina Pimples. Yes. Um, the one who was in um, an education. But it's a difficult relationship because they live a long way apart. Right, galaxies I mean, apart. Well, he's 5,000 light years away. Sure. And she's in Chingford. What's the girl's name? The one I'm thinking of, the actress. You know, she's very famous. With the haircut. She's got a haircut. Carrie Mulligan. Mulligan. That's right, Carrie Mulligan. And she's going out with... With Herschel 36. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but it's a difficult relationship to sustain because of the distance. Yeah. And because he's a hundred light years across. That's age. I mean, imagine the phone bills. No, but he's very fat. Oh, I see. He, that's he's a actually... hundred light years across. That's a little embarrassing. It's a bit embarrassing socially. and He can't get out of that. Yeah, why is, I mean, he's, what has he been eating? Galaxies I don't know, too possibly. Many <laughs> now listen to this clip, so as if that isn't awesome enough, have right. a listen to this clip. This newly born star is over 20 times more massive than our sun and burns much hotter, which makes the light that pours from its surface blue. So it's 20 times more massive than the sun. This, this, we're still talking about Herschel 36. I thought he was talking about his sun. No, he's 20 times more massive than the sun, right. and blue light pours from his surface. Whoa. Isn't that uh, amazing? Yeah, I mean, that's... Um... Can you visualise Herschel 36? Yeah, I think he's in the blue man group, isn't he? <laughs> he's like a big blue guy. He's like one of the guys from Avatar. <laughs> but if that isn't enough, then there is actually a star out there that dwarfs uh, Herschel 36. Um, Justin Bieber. No, that's not her name. Oh. Uh, have, let, let Professor uh, Cox tell you. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half thousand light years from Earth is a star that dwarfs even Herschel 36. Its name is Eta Carine. Right. So it's even bigger than Herschel 36. I love Etta Carine. Etta Carine. Did you see her last film? Well, she was in Avatar, I'm sure, wasn't she? Yeah. Ooh, la, boop, la, la. Yes. 
Jake Sully, you are so stupid. Does that mean anything to you, what you just heard? Um, it means that I love the sound of Brian Cox's voice. Mm, Have mm. you ever heard, you know, Jeremy Dyson from the League of Gentlemen? Yes. He's got the same voice. Oh, you're absolutely right. It's, that, it's lovely, isn't it's it? It's that lovely, no, you know, very nicely pronounced sort of northern voice. But the words he's saying, I mean, they're sort of meaningless, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, the, the measures he's I talking said, yeah. about. <laughs> Without <laughs> even thinking. But the measures he's talking about are so, these things are so massive, yeah. they're beyond any any comprehension, it aren't they? the mind. I they mean, don't relate to anything on Earth or, or any experience at all. No. It's just bo bonkers. I mean, yeah, he could just be making it up. For he a could. I mean, for instance, if I made some awe-inspired music, mm -hmm. would you, do you think you'd be able to talk like him over it and just make <laughs> the words up? Sure. Do you think? Be I mean, easy. Do you want to try that now? Why not? Then? How long do you think you could go for? Ages. Really? Sure. And you just talk about how wide things are, how yeah. narrow they are, what colour light they... Well, let's kick in some music. I mean, this is music I, I made for this. Let's see, see <laughs> how long you last. Here it goes. Look, really far, far away is a giant big thing, plate, like a plate, called Julia 19. Oh, it's ever so large and it's huge. Look at that, you could pile so much... Pudding on the top of it. It's massive and great big. Further away from that, even, yeah. is Michael Nance face 69,000. How big? It's really much bigger than even Julia 15, or whatever the number was that I said of the plate. It's so big, it's like a big, massive balloon or a house. How wide? Really, really wide. <laughs> like a road. A massive as wide as a big road what about. Color? What colour? It's in it's incredibly green and glowing green. And bits of green toffees go are coming off the top of it. And people are catching them in their mouths. It's massive though. Imagine the most big toffee you ever saw. It's bigger than <laughs> <laughs> bigger than <laughs> It's bigger than that. Do something bigger. Something bigger. <laughs> but Dwarfing all those things ever so oh. <laughs> of I've exploded. The universe exploded. <laughs> it was too big. You overdone it. And that's the end.